have often said that leadership is bleedership. And I've often said that if you are not bleeding, you are not leading. These words have never been more true than during this pandemic and the crisis that this pandemic has brought in every faucet of life, whether it's in the family, organizations, governments, the world is in a crisis. And in times of crisis, leaders are called upon to rise up. The challenge of leading in times of crisis is that there's a price to pay when you choose to lead in a time of price and, and, and of, of, of crisis. And, and the price is the figurative blood of leadership. Having your sanity or integrity questioned. The uncertainty of taking bold risks. The pain of hard conversations and replacing people who no longer fit the larger scope of responsibilities. And of course, it's not just that you're having to have tough conversations with, with those that work for you. You're having to let people go. At the same time, you've got to give hope to those that you keep while you are carrying the strain of being publicly positive while dealing with the myriad of private pains that this pandemic has brought. And so in this challenging time, in these challenging times, leaders do not think of themselves. And that's why leadership is about service. So in times of, of, of crisis, leaders do not think of themselves. They think about those that they lead. What do the people that we lead need? What do the people that you lead need? The number one thing that people need is hope. It's amazing what you can do when you have hope because once you lose hope, everything is lost. And so as leaders, we have to hold the banner of hope for our people. As a leader, you must hold the banner of hope for those you lead. And I see, I see leaders as midwives. And so as leaders, you have to be the midwife in the birth of new things. The crisis that this pandemic has brought upon everyone is also a signal to the birth of new things because after every crisis is a birth. And so as leaders, we know that the pandemic will end and that there will be life after the, after the pandemic. There will be, our organizations will be there after the pandemic. And so we have a responsibility to hold the banner of hope for our people, as it were. You know, what does a midwife do? The woman is in a crisis that water has just broken and all hell has broken loose. And the midwife holds the hand and encourages this woman to push in the birth of a new baby. The same is true in organizations. We as leaders are the midwives in the birth of new things. The season of crisis is going to end and our organizations must continue on the other end side and so we, we are to hold the hands of those that we lead and encourage them to take the pain the pain in the birth of new things the pain in the birth of a new organization because your organization is never going to be the same after this crisis. Your family is not going to be the same after this crisis. Your country is not going to be the same after this crisis and so as leaders we have a responsibility to hold the hands of those we lead and encourage them to take the pain and survive this season so that they can live in the new world the new unknown remember leadership is a burden a privilege and a tremendous 
responsibility.